Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I'm about to take Elena to her 18 month checkup, which I cannot believe that she is 18 months old. I remember taking her to her newborn pediatric appointment. She was literally so tiny, all swaddled up, and now she's a full blown toddler. It just happens so fast, subhanAllah, but Anyways, today's video is going to be my romanticizing my life, like the nighttime version. I shared with you guys kind of like the concept of romanticizing your life in a couple, like a couple weeks ago, and a lot of you guys resonated with it just like I did. Honestly, like whenever I heard, first heard this like trend of romanticizing your life, it truly reframed the way that I think about my daily life, and it has honestly made me so much happier and like just more grateful for just even the simplest little pleasures in my daily life. If you guys didn't see my last video, I tried to explain a little bit more of what romanticizing your life means, so I will link that down below, but I'm basically going to be sharing my nighttime routine a little bit later, so I'll take you guys along that, but first, I'm about to be late to her appointment, so let's go. Elena, do you see the puppy? Do you see the puppy? Look. Look at the puppy. We are ripping the paper. Okay. Well, this is going well so far. remember me organizing my bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> Elena came to the bathroom and grabbed all of these uh, q-tips and Elena's like, let her, let, it's okay, let her play with it. It's a good activity. She'll, <laughs> she'll put them back and then Elena Accessory. literally just started sc scattering them all over the floor. <laughs> Here I am trying to pr put this into a activity or something. But. Romanticize your life now. I romanticize <laughs> this activity. <laughs> Are these safe to use? I'm asking for a friend. Here's some more bubble here. Oh, okay, okay, I all guess done. we're done. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Here, I have some more. I have some more. No, 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 no. I have some more. Yeah, can you put them in here? Put them in here. Good. Good job. Good job, job Elena. All right, now we're gonna put it up, okay? She said, nope, give <laughs> it back. <laughs> oh, this is still we're gonna try again. Changed into some comfy clothes, and now we are on our way to do a little evening walk. We're driving to my parents' neighborhood, which will be our future neighborhood, because it's just a lot prettier, and it's a nice, like, more scenic, walk and Omar actually hasn't been going on my walks with me I've been just going either with me and my sisters or like me and my mom have gone or I've just yeah. gone by myself and it's been so, so the weather has been so nice honestly um, yeah. in Texas right now it's a little Very bipolar good. as usual it literally was snowing like, snowed, like two days, days ago, ago yeah. but yeah, we're just taking advantage. Elena is very ex excited today. <laughs> she did so good at her appointment, but she was very busy. Like, she did not want to sit still. She was running all over that room, but alhamdulillah, everything looked good. So we could have just, like, stepped outside and walked in our neighborhood, but it's not as scenic of a walk. It's just a little bit less enjoyable. So I guess going along with the romanticizing your life, just make, like taking that extra effort to, like, go walk somewhere enjoyable and just a lot more... Beautiful. It's just a way to make your daily life a little bit better. See the keys? Let's see if I can zoom in. Oh yeah. They look so beautiful, but they're actually a little bit vicious. <laughs> they are vicious. <laughs> Remember when we had that picnic? It was like oh, right yeah. over there. Yeah. And uh, we had to end it early. Let's yeah, we had say. to end it early. Yeah. <laughs> Family walk and Elena's watching her show. Gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> That's right. I have to be honest with y'all, it's actually the next day after our walk yesterday, we stopped by my parents' house since we were in the neighborhood to say hi so they could see Elena. And of course, we like stayed a little bit later than I wanted to. We went ahead and had dinner over there and I just couldn't finish filming this video. So I thought I would finish it today. We actually just finished with our walk today. And then I like to go ahead and take my makeup off and kind of do my nighttime skin skincare routine before we even like do dinner or get Elena to sleep or anything like that because after all of that, I'm so exhausted. It's like the last thing I want to do is take off my makeup after doing all of that. So Omar's watching her right now. She's eating a little snack. And then once I finish 
I'll go ahead and get dinner ready. I'm just heating up leftovers today, so it'll be super easy. The first thing that I do is I go ahead and change into pajamas. These are like some really nice silky pajamas that I got from H&M. And at first, I didn't really used to wear these to actually sleep in. I usually would just wear kind of like, I don't know, like old, like things that I just thought were like super comfy, but they were just so ugly, <laughs> that kind of stuff. But the more that I thought about it, I was like, you know what? This stuff is super comfortable as well. It's so like silky on the skin and it's so beautiful. Why am I not wearing this stuff around my house to make myself feel better. I am going to go ahead and take off my makeup. So I'll show you guys kind of the updated products that I've been using. The first one is by Pharmacy. This is a clean brand and this is a makeup cleansing balm. And I love this one because it doesn't have a scent. It's super gentle and it really just works to like melt off your makeup. So I'm going to start with that. Once my makeup is removed, I'm going to go in with the fresh soy cleanser i have feel like i've raved about this product for so many years and i just still love it it does such a good job at removing makeup honestly and it's so gentle i went ahead and washed my face i went ahead and did wudu so that when i'm doing my skincare products i won't have to like do wudu later and then wash off all my products so i'm gonna go ahead and go in also i got my pajamas all wet this is like a struggle you guys like doing this skincare routine on camera as a hijabi. Next thing that I go in with is my good jeans. This is just kind of like a daily product that I always use to keep my skin clear. And you guys know I've been using this for so long. Um, and then something that I have been loving using recently, this oil by each and every. They actually sent this to me. I think I've told you guys about their natural deodorant, but like they came out with this facial oil and it smells so good and I just love like my skin loves oil and I don't even know how to describe the scent it's like earthy and spa like I just love it just is very very therapeutic to put like a very spa like oil on my face after I do my skincare and that is my very simple quick nighttime routine um, for my skincare then as far as like body hair products I will go ahead and just show you guys like what I've been loving recently the necessaire body lotion is my absolute favorite It is so so nice. I usually use this if I take a shower. I'll put it on after the shower It's unscented and just makes my skin so soft compared to any of the other lotions that I've used and then recently I've tried out their hand cream my hands and my cuticles have been so dry this winter I think with just the heater going in my house and stuff like that and washing my hands a lot and this stuff is so nice because it's not too thick those are kind of the products that i use to wind down like i said i don't really have that much time i'm just taking off my makeup and doing a quick little routine to kind of take care of myself before i have to go take care of everyone else so now i'm gonna go and get dinner started oh actually before i do that let me actually show you guys my kind of like nighttime ritual because I know by the time I get to that point I'm not going to be able to film because Elena still sleeps in our room and I don't want to wake her up so let me show you guys that. I wanted to share with you guys a few things that I have next to my bed that just make the experience so much more like luxe and enjoyable and it just makes me feel so comfortable. This is my diffuser. I've shared it in the past but I haven't actually been very consistent with using it on a daily basis but I started using it every night before I go to sleep. I'll fill it up with some lavender drops. It just smells so good good and relaxing and it's just so nice to turn this on right before i go to sleep it's so calming this is my diffuser just to add moisture to the air it's been actually really bipolar in texas right now there's days where it's 30 degrees there's days where it's 60 degrees but on the days where it's like super cold and the heater's running my skin gets so dry at night so this has been so helpful i'm gonna go ahead and turn it on but yeah it just helps add moisture to the air so that's been really nice and then in my bedside table drawer i have a few little nightly essentials that, that i like to keep next to me another necessary hand cream because I use that before I go to sleep too and then this is the Laneige lip mask that I feel like so many people have convinced me is the best thing and I can agree like I recently tried it and I'm obsessed I got the vanilla flavor and it's so 
luxurious and just makes your lips so soft and then i have some fuzzy socks because my feet get so cold in the winter at night and this is oxy powder for gut health i use that every night and then you guys know i'm struggling with gut health right now so i'm reading um love your gut by dr megan rossi highly recommend those are just some things that i have next to my bed something else that i'm super proud of myself for actually making a daily or a nightly habit is reading the english version of the quran and i'm so proud of myself and it's something that i actually look forward to this is something that i have always like prayed about is just asking god to make the quran part of my daily life and before it always used to feel really stressful it's just a chore kind of thing but i only read like maybe three to five pages a day. I stop reading whenever I get tired, whenever I'm not really absorbing like what I'm reading anymore and it's just been absolutely amazing like i feel like my connection with god has just gotten so much stronger because i'm actually reading his words and just processing what he is trying to tell us humans and what we're supposed to be following and it's just really changed so many things for me it's like actually spending time reading the quran every single day i can read arabic but i don't understand arabic so it's just better for me to read it in english so i downloaded it on kindle and it's a really good English translation, so I'll link it down below if any of you guys are interested. But that is something that I do. I crawl into bed, I open my Kindle app instead of scrolling social media, instead of scrolling through Instagram and TikTok and YouTube. I just spend time with God and it's just honestly been such a game changer for me. I just wanted to recommend that little habit that I have incorporated into my nighttime routine in case any of you guys have struggled with making the Quran a part of your daily routine as well. Tonight I'm just reheating some leftovers. I have salmon, veggies, and potatoes and I have been using my air fryer more than ever recently just because it's so convenient with reheating especially like fish and chicken. It just makes it taste so much more fresh like the next day so anyways isn't my air fryer so pretty i feel like i've shared it with you guys before but it's from walmart omar is currently feeding elena while our food is heating up i'm gonna go ahead and light a candle because i feel like setting the mood for dinner has been like the biggest game changer honestly i light a candle i use all of our like nice this is kind of thing something that i do all the time use our nice dishes and silverware and stuff on a daily basis. I never really keep anything for special occasions just so that we can enjoy what we have every day. Setting the mood, setting the table. Something that I don't do often, but I feel like I'm gonna do more of is using our nice cups because we usually will drink sparkling water for dinner and I feel like we just drink out of the cans, but it's so much like a much better experience to drink out of a cup. So we're gonna do that tonight. And this little girl is done with her food. He's eating the scraps. <laughs> And I'm trying to make it so that we all eat dinner together, like, you know, most nights, because I would love that to be, like, a family thing. We eat dinner together every night. But right now, honestly, this girl... It's a lot easier if we feed her first. Yeah, it's, it's honestly better. Then we can enjoy, we can enjoy our, our food and she plays. can... Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> is ready to be done. Oh wait, do you want more cucumbers? I gave her some cucumbers from the salad. Oh. Maybe, can you give her some more? Yeah, let's get Elena wants to romanticize her life. It's a bike. Let's go to the green page. Where's the worm? Can you find it? He's hiding under the leaf. our nightly fruit time i try to give elena fruit after dinner every night before i brush her teeth is that like an arab thing or is that just like fruit yeah it might be i don't know i feel like i'm I, not a big fan of fruit though. well omar's not but i grew up my dad literally used to cut us fruit every night before we would go to sleep that was like our nightly thing <laughs> we'd be sitting there like peeling grapefruits or just whatever was in season so I like to do that with Elena. And so far she loves strawberries, she loves bananas, oranges, 
She's not too much of a big fan of blueberries or raspberries or blackberries yet, but we're getting there. <laughs> I try to just still give it to her. Oh, that was a big bite. That was a big bite. I think she put two pieces of banana. That's my plate too, by the way. <laughs> poured myself some tea and now we're gonna watch an episode of love is blind before we get ready to go to sleep so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i love you guys so so much and i will see y'all in the next one bye